By the time it's finished, this will be the world's biggest power plant. 32 hydropower generators will produce enough clean energy to supply up to 10% of China's electricity. That's enough power to light up Boston, New York, and Washington, D.C. combined. This is the heart and soul of the Three Gorges project. When complete, it will produce almost 19 gigawatts of electricity. Hydropower is electric power generated using the energy of falling water. There's only one law that you need to generate power, and that's the law of gravity. As long as we don't repeal gravity, water's going to flow downhill. And as it flows downhill, we capture it, divert it through a tunnel, and run it through a turbine. And as the turbine spins, it creates electricity. Once the Yangtze rises to full height behind the dam, this gateway will catch the flow of water and drop it 300 feet into the turbines. After spinning through the turbine, the superheated water is pumped back into the Yangtze through underwater pipes. This half-mile-long concrete bunker is home to the generators, or turbines, that store the electricity that will power China. The massive turbines are lifted into place by specially built cranes that ride on rails along the top of the bunker. They are the largest turbines in the world and the Chinese paid a fortune for them, $150 million apiece. It's one of the most heavily guarded sites in China. Workers pass through 14 checkpoints every day to reach the nerve center. This is a very rare view of one of the most secret rooms in China. Every operation of the power plant is controlled from this command post. In 2006, 14 generators are up and running. When all 32 generators are installed by 2009, they will create as much electricity as 18 nuclear power plants. Turbines are monitored, heat gauges checked, and the power flow to cities is regulated. Leo Haibuo runs one of the most powerful rooms in the world. I'm very proud to be working for the Three Gorges project. This is my biggest dream as a hydroelectric engineer. That's why I will do my best. With great power comes great risk. In 2003, a small glitch in one of the generators shut down the whole hydroelectric station. More than 500,000 people lived without power for three weeks. Imagine the entire city of Las Vegas coming to a standstill for nearly a month. But at least the generator did shut down. An overheated generator could have blown up and caused catastrophic damage to the structure. Virtually the entire $25 billion investment in the Three Gorges Dam would have been lost along with thousands of lives. But despite concerns over dam safety, there is no doubt that the hydropower from the Three Gorges Dam will go a long way to alleviate the crushing pollution problems that China faces. China is the world's largest producer and consumer of coal in the world. It accounts for 70% of the country's total energy consumption. Carbon emissions are damaging the environment. Few Chinese remember what a clear day looks like. The Three Gorges area of Yangtze, from Chongqing in the west to Wuhan in the east, is the heart of industrial China. Smoke from these factories has made China one of the world's biggest polluters. Every year, acid rain falls on over two-thirds of the country. China's leading cause of death is heart disease, 
caused by the burning of coal from steel smelters and rolling mills. By eliminating the burning of coal, the air would be noticeably clearer and smog levels would decrease in most major cities. It started in 1994. It won't end until 2009. Around the clock, work on the world's largest dam continues. Now on the brink of completion, the Chinese have almost accomplished an engineering feat that many considered impossible. It's like looking at the Great Pyramids. People say, how in the world did they build that? Chinese officials recently reported that work was progressing even faster than anticipated. They are nearly a year ahead of schedule. But the building of the largest dam in the world has come at a price. Rising waters have swept away ancient villages that have existed since the beginning of time. We're building large dams in the name of alleviating poverty. And the sad thing to me is that the people most in need aren't receiving these benefits. As a dam, it's going to bring us lots of benefits, but of course you have to take the good as the bad, the bad as the good. I still worry about those people who have been relocated because I still remember their smiles. When the Three Gorges Dam is fully operational, then a great nation will have truly built a wonder for the ages. The dam is a result of modern engineering ingenuity combined with the ambition of a sleeping giant awakening to the future. The Three Gorges Dam project is a really amazing engineering achievement. They've, they've pushed the limits, they've, they've pushed the envelope in the sheer scale. They've brought in international technology from all around the world and they've put it together. I think they deserve a huge amount of credit. For better or for worse, there is no turning back the clock. Too much has been invested and too much has been gambled for the project not to succeed. Ultimately, this is a story about China's future as well as its past. The Chinese people will decide how much of their 3,000-year-old history they will take with them and what they must leave behind. The dam promises prosperity and a catapulting of a great nation into the future, as well as providing protection from floods that have caused death and destruction since people first walked on the shores of the Yangtze. But this protection and prosperity come at a price. The sacrifice and loss incurred in the name of progress will reverberate from beneath the reservoir for another 3,000 years. But what is for certain is the soul and spirit of China will survive even though the Yangtze Valley has been altered forever. The river that has been called the Great Dragon, since stories have been told around village fires, has not easily been tamed. But when the dam is complete, then China will have built a technological wonder. The dam will stand as a spectacular modern monument to economic progress, as well as a solemn testament to what has been left behind, silenced forever beneath the waters. <laughs> <laughs>